right, so today's project is we've got a little bit, uh, about a half acre or so to mow, brush mow. Um, that wood line there, there's a fence back there towards those bigger trees. We got to mow up to that. All the way around here, there's a tree, a couple trees here. We're going to kind of try to clean this up a little bit, at least push it back over into the woods. And then all of this section here and up through this little drainage area. There's a drainage ditch that comes through here and a little creek. So we're gonna clean up as much of that as we can. Um, I don't know if there's rock or riprap or something back in here. Cause this goes back about a good 30, 40 feet or so across this little creek here. And so we're gonna try the uh, brush mower out here. Um, we're gonna see how it does, especially with this small brush and everything. And I think some of this stuff is gonna be too big for it. So I brought my grapple bucket to move that tree and uh, really kind of if I have to pull these pull these bigger things out or whatnot because I don't know that my uh, brush mower will do that because it's a it's about that's I'd say in the four to six inch range so it's a little bit more than I should be trying with my mower but uh we're gonna give things a shot you know maybe it'll do it I don't know but uh you can tell the weather's not great but uh, that's where an enclosed cab and AC and all that good stuff is really nice it's uh, June and it's probably 88 degrees outside pretty humid and light misty rain so let's uh let's see what the 590 and can do in these kind of conditions
Well, boys, I think I broke it. I don't even know how. All right, guys, so I actually ended up breaking this on that last section there. And it has something to do with this um, relay when I put it down, I put it down on top of a stump or something. And so then when the motor's kicked on, it blew out this top hose. I think it's just the seal or right, just somewhere right in here. You turn it on, it all starts dripping from here down onto that. Um, there is a little bit that has blown around places, but I think that was just when it came under pressure. But um, that's as far as I can see. It, I don't know. It may have damaged that. I don't. I don't really know though. So anyway, that's kind of disappointing. I I would say I feel like it broke for no reason. Kind of like Andrew would say. <laughs> So anyway, I went and rented another one. We got a little bit mowing left to do. Thank goodness I priced this job well and I have the ability to do that. So let's go take care of that. Let's go finish the rest of the mowing. We'll deal with this. We'll load this up and take it out of here later. But let's finish this job up and move on to the next one, I guess.
that's this job finished up. That was, uh, that was a fair amount of work. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I, uh, the only reason I'm still here until 6 is because I had to run and grab that other um, brush mower. But I couldn't get back in there. It was too wet. You can see there's just standing water around all those trees there. So I didn't feel like getting stuck. I almost got stuck when I was in here one of the times. And I think you can see it in one of the time-lapse areas. I almost got stuck right there. So, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good one. So we'll call this one a wrap and let's head on to our next job site.